This is the eighth video in our van build series, plumbing. We're doing a very basic plumbing system on our van. Um, we're not having any hot water or shower, just running cold water at the sink. Just to go over some of the components here, um, we have our potable water tank, which is just a traditional office water jug, a uh, square container, um, seven gallons to use as our gray water tank, which we can remove and take out the dump. A fresh water pump, it's a little guy, just one gallon per minute, which is fine because we have a very small tank. Some vinyl tubing and nylon tubing, some fittings to adapt everything together, a simple tap, and a um, RV drain adapter for our um, household kitchen sink um, stopper. And then finally we have some ratchet straps and blocks of wood to support the, to hold the tanks in place. This is where we're going to be installing everything underneath the sink here. I pre-cut a few blocks here. Kind of make it clean just to hold everything in place. So let's first start by installing the stopper assembly. So this is just like when you see in your kitchen sink. It's got the little rubber thing that goes inside. Take off the bottom nut and throw that away. We're not going to end up using this piece at all. And I'll thread on the RV adapter. I'm just doing a dry fit right now. I put this together for the final time. I use some sealant. So we'll take this and we'll put it through the hole in the sink. Get the drain kind of pointed in the direction we want. So I'm going to kind of point it backwards a little bit. We've got the barb fitting on the um, tank and we've got the barb fitting on the sink drain. I've got this piece of hose here that we use to connect it. So I'll stick it onto it. Green. So that's cut. And that will just stick on top of there. Now I got it pretty close to a level down. What you don't want it to do is go way up and back down because then your sink won't drain. We now have a good idea where everything's going to be. The potable tank here on the left, gray water tank on the right, and some of the plumbing mocked up. I'm gonna go ahead and screw down the blocks to hold everything in place and install the straps. Now to install these tie down straps. I'm just gonna make a little mark where I want them to end up. install these straps I'm using a machine screw with a washer and I'm just going to run that screw right through the stitched area. The last component to install is going to be this water pump. I want to install the faucet next which requires drilling a hole into the countertop. Now to install the water line, which is just this stiff nylon tube, we'll take the nut that came with the faucet, slip it over the tube, and we'll take this ferrule. You can see that it's kind of tapered. You want the tapered end to go out so the tapered end will fit inside because there's another taper inside of the faucet that this will interface with. Now in my instance, I needed to convert this nylon tubing that the faucet and the tank will use to a barbed fitting that the pump uses. So I have this adapter I made up using two fittings from the hardware store and a short bit of nylon of vinyl tubing and two hose clamps. So 
I'm getting ready to assemble this for the final time. A little bit of plumber's putty to go around this, the lip flange. And I have a little bit of pipe thread compound. And this will seal this connection up. Make that utterly tight. I'll just take a little ring of this. It's just like Play-Doh. But probably not okay to eat. I'll just make a little ring of it. This is our completed installation. We have our water tank. And up behind it, we have the water pump. Then we have a line going over to the faucet. Then we have the drain from the sink running into the blue jug. At some point in your plumbing project, you're going to have to assemble tapered pipe thread fittings like these. These fittings have a slight taper to them, so you can see that it kind of tapers towards the nose of the fitting. And that fits into a coarse bonding taper. And the other, the female fitting, so we've got the male fitting and the female fitting. And these threads don't make a perfect seal, so you need to use some sort of sealing tape or sealing compound. I like to use Teflon tape because it's easy and not very messy. The important thing when using Teflon tape is to pay attention to how the fitting screws into its mating half. See how this one goes in the clockwise? See how I'm wrapping it in a clockwise direction? That's going to correspond with the direction the fitting goes in. So the tape gets tighter as you tighten it into the fitting and doesn't get unwound when it goes in.